Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So today, it's another Tales of 69 Minutes speed paint, and this was day 10, and the theme was Rivals. So, for those who still don't know what this is, um, this was a challenge on Twitter that it started like in 2015. So since this was day 10, um, it was originally live streamed and done on June 17, 2015. So it's an older live stream that I just happened to have recordings of and I wanted to still put it out. And yeah, so the theme was Rivals and at the time, the newest game that came out was still Sylvia 2. So there's nothing, I couldn't really do much for Zysteria yet, even though those who have been watching me for a while know my true bias being Zysteria <laughs> and Abyss. Uh, so I felt like they were the best. L Ludger and what's this guy's name? Oh crap, I don't know his name anymore. It's been a while. Uh, Ludger and Black Mask, mask person. Uh, I felt like it was a really good choice even though it's somewhat spoilery but if you read the wikia you would know anyway so time to analyze my drawing style from 2015 first things first that proportion looks kind of bad and i don't know because if you watch my newer my newer artworks now you'd know that i've learned how to make my lines solid and closed and very easy to magic wand <laughs> so at, it, it makes coloring easier if you don't know what that means basically at this point in time i still didn't really know or i haven't learned how to do that so my lines are very sketchy and when you're doing line art unless it's the, unless your style is really the sketchy style uh ideally you want it like solid or um you know, not in a sketchy manner. And my art style isn't in a sketchy manner, so it doesn't really help. <laughs> Day 10. Though to be honest, I did make good use of the time. Though the art style has a lot to be desired. Anatomy-wise, and you'll see later even coloring-wise. Oh man. But hey, progress! This is actually pretty ambitious, I think, because usually, or you'd think that in a day 10 of doing drawings for 69 minutes only, you would usually logically stick to one character only, but I got ambitious and did two characters. Then again, it's rival, so like, you really need, or you sort of need to do ca two characters, but I guess I got a little confident and cocky and decided to do two characters. I think I did, as I mentioned, I did manage to complete everything without completely botching one of the characters. In fact, I believe I even do come back in and add more shadows later on. I think yes, the reason I was pretty confident for this challenge was because naturally I already draw pretty fast and and I, it, that's a good and bad thing because at the time, as you can see, my skill level wasn't really pretty. It was, it was, it was okay. It was in the median point. Like, it's not bad, but it's not like super good either. It's, it's, it's mediocre, I guess. <laughs> Ouch. That's harsh to say to myself. But either way, uh, harsh to say about myself, not to myself. Um, Either way, uh, I drew fast, but it often sacrificed the quality and details. So that's something I've been trying to fix for 2016, 2017, and perhaps in the future. I've been trying to add more details. I've been trying to add more thought, uh, like to put in more thought into what I'm doing to the, to the piece. And I'm taking more time with doing thumbnails. I've been trying to figure out the color palettes beforehand basically just thinking about how you want the piece to look like 
um, at this point in time when I used to do these 69 minute challenges I would just make things up as I go so sometimes they don't really turn out cohesive or it doesn't turn out completely what I had imagined if I even had anything imagined in the first place because in the past what I do is that I have this basic idea like a, a really rough sketch in my head and I'd go straight to the paper and fix things as I go but one thing I did learn very recently 2015 no 26 yeah 2016 I learned how to do thumbnails and I might put a video on that I have a little series sort of in the works right now that I kind of want to do that might help people who want to improve their art or just like stuff like that but basically thumbnailing is doing like super small sketches and trying to fix your composition so you sketch your idea out you try to add more or less the details that you want added in like the major details and fix maybe like the spacing the camera angle and you can do several thumbnails to figure it out and then that's when you'll do the final piece once you've once you are satisfied with the thumbnail that you did but that's something i learned very recently so i i guess i guess it's it's something i did improve on i, I didn't know how to end that sentence actually <laughs> but at, at, at that point i didn't know how to do that yet so it was a let's do this as we go along type of thing Oh, I should probably mention, though, the actual challenge, the actual Taste of 69 Minutes challenge is actually already over. Uh, I recently checked their Twitter account and they said that they are no longer putting out prompts unless there's a lot of demand once Berseria comes out. But right now, it's not ongoing anymore and I don't think they accept submissions anymore. I'm not sure if they, if they release the prompt list of like the past pump list since I missed a good amount. I, I think I missed around a year because of college. So um, yeah, uh, just letting you guys know that these are old streams and these are just pretty much backlog and you know, it's a, it's a waste if I don't put them out since I've edited them. I've had them for quite some time and it's it's a great way to look back and see your progress I think aside from the joy again meme thing it's just great to be able to talk over your old speed paints and you know make comments about what things you'll do differently now and I don't know it's just fun for me I don't know why One thing I think I've always been pretty bad of is I really, I'm pretty good with drawing cloth or clothes. Um, I mean, the drawing part, of, like the, the folds could use work, a lot of work, but uh, coloring it in has always sort of been my forte. It's just a matter of making the line work look like actual clothes, but coloring them in, I've always liked how I did that. And of course, there's always my favorite gold, sparkly, shiny gold.
So, we're the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like or subscribe. And please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt. And I'll see you around.